Welcome to my unboxing in our traditional outdoor unboxing location of the NF F12 PWM from Noctua. Now this is a pressure centric fan and this goes with Noctua's long-standing proud tradition of delivering excellent performance at a quiet noise level. However, not every fan is suitable for every purpose. So now they had before, okay, before they had the S12 and they had the P12. The S12 was for open airflow environments like a case exhaust fan. And the P12 was for more restrictive environments such as a heat sink or a radiator. Now, the F12, or it's, yeah, sorry. The F12 doesn't replace either of those fans, but it is even better at pushing air through more densely populated areas that is to say more dense heat sinks and more dense radiators than the previous P12. So the P12 is the balanced fan, whereas the S12 is the open airflow fan and the F12 is going to be the restrictive airflow forcingness fan. Now these are all quiet fans, so don't get don't let that get out of your mind. So it includes a lot of new technology, including their Heptaperf impeller, which works in tandem with the stator guide vanes. We'll talk about those after as well as the focus flow frame. Okay, perfect balance between power and quietness. That's what Noctua is all about. So if it didn't do that, I'd be surprised. To reduce noise, you can see here, they've actually got a little diagram of the way the airflow gets broken up by their new stepped inlet design. So once again, more technology built into the fan to reduce noise. The SSO2 bearing is an upgrade from the SSO version one. So you can actually see here, they've drawn little diagrams of them both for us. However, I am not a fan engineer, so I'm afraid I don't know exactly what they mean by all of this, but they say it's easy even better than the time-tested SSO bearing, which means it's pretty darn good because I can tell you guys now the SSO version one bearing is awesome. Focus flow frame, so designed for pressure demanding applications such as heat sinks and radiators, got that. 11 stator veins that straighten channel and focus the airflow. So we'll talk about that in just a moment actually. Okay. So here's the diagram of the fan itself. This is actually neat, more on these in a moment. Okay, so number five is the metal bearing shell, shell. So in order to guarantee the highest possible degree of manufacturing precision, right there, it actually has a metal shell for the bearing. Next, we've got integrated anti-vibration pads. So I'll show you those on the fan itself. Custom designed PWMIC with SCD. So that is their new technology to reduce PWM switching noises and make the fan even quieter at low speeds. Varying angular distance and vortex control notches. Okay, so we're pretty familiar with these, but with a uniform distribution of the stator vanes, the relative geometrical constellation of the rotor blades and the stator guide vanes is identical each time the rotor moves over the next stator vane. So pretty much what they've done here is they've made everything as close to being 100%, I can't even say, well, well, yeah, they've tried to make it as symmetrical in as many different ways as possible. Inner surface microstructures, so when the tips of the blades plowing through the boundary layer created by the inner surface microstructures, flow separation from the suction side of the blades is significantly suppressed. Ultra low power consumption, this I think is less of a factor for most users. The low noise adapters that Noctua includes with their fans are very, very handy. I'll show you that when we open it up. Extensive cabling options. Oh, look at that, comes with an extension, neat keen, and a six-year manufacturer warranty. You can't put a six-year manufacturer warranty on anything with moving parts unless you are prepared for users to either RMA them or if unless you are prepared to build a darn good product. So hopefully Noctua has gone, well actually not hopefully, so Noctua has gone with the latter as opposed to the former. Here are some fan screws in case you want to mount your fan that way. Here are some rubber fan mounts. Uh, I would definitely recommend mounting your fans that way as it is quieter. Reduces the vibration that gets passed to the case, although, mind you, with the here, these are the integrated grommets. With these integrated grommets, even if you screw it in with a screw, the only vibration that can be passed would be from this bit of plastic here to the screw to the case, because right here you're going to be rubber isolated. So these will make it even better because they go through like that and they envelop the case and the fan itself and keep them actually slightly separated. All right, so here are the, this is how Noctua achieves the directed airflow. So you can see the fan blades pass over the fan like this. And what these are here for is to actually keep 
all of the air moving in one direction, in one tunnel, away from the fan frame itself. So that is part of what makes it more effective for heat sinks. There is less wasted energy because instead of blowing the air around in all these directions, you are blowing it in exactly the direction of exactly what you want to cool. So this would be great for other applications, such as for a front intake fan, where you want to direct that airflow to your graphics card. Rather than just sort of dumping air into the case, you want to take that air directly to the thing you want to cool, use one of these. Other included accessories include the extension cable, there you go, as well as, oh this is kind of neat, it includes a Y cable. That's outstanding. And these are all PWM cables, which actually aren't that easy to find and aren't that cheap. So that's, that's handy as well. So you have a wide variety of different mounting options. You can even mount two of them off, you know, one header and you can put one there and one there. And I love that they've included a nice short cable because if you're using it as a CPU fan, the last thing you want is a bunch of extra cable cluttering up your, cluttering up your case. So here's the stepped inlet design right there. Just want to show you guys some of these technologies that we talked about before. These are the, see these little dimples inside here? Whoops, can you see them right there? All right, so that was one of the things we talked about before. The blade design actually looks very similar to the P12, but I'm sure that it's not because knowing Noctua, oh yeah, look at that. So the notches are now here. And uh, traditionally we've seen notches on the uh, trailing edges of the fans on here, so. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've covered most of the technology. We've covered the look of the fan itself. Noctua's signature brown and cream. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Sorry guys, I forgot the low noise adapter, which they've now started sleeving. This looks fantastic compared to the older ones. And there we go. So you could mount it way at the end of like something and then make it low noise in addition to everything that you're already doing.